Greetings and good day, everyone. My name is Joshua Jones, and I humbly serve as a director of alumni relations for your university, the University of South Carolina Upstate, and I welcome you to the 2021 homecoming. With many firsts that we face this year, we are excited to continue a tradition that many look forward to, the USC Upstate Alumni Awards. We're thankful we can share our excitement and joy for our alums through this virtual event. While this ceremony may look a little different than in years past, our commitment to recognizing our valued alumni has only grown stronger. The process of identifying alumni who demonstrate true Spartan spirit and values was carefully entrusted to our Alumni Awards Committee, which is comprised of university representatives and alumni. The committee carefully selected a group of seven individuals who are making a positive impact on others' lives through outstanding achievements in their careers. I want to thank our committee for the thorough and thoughtful work in selecting these awardees. We're excited to share their stories. But before we introduce you to each award winner, I'd like to introduce Interim Chancellor Durham Cole for his congratulatory remarks. Greetings, I'm Interim Chancellor Durham Cole and welcome to the 2021 Virtual Alumni Awards for USC Upstate. I am so proud and excited to recognize our alumni award winners today. Thank you to Loretta Dilgiri, Stuart Stamara, Kim Mocrone, Shannon Coleman, Trevor Ivey, Laney Whitaker, and Victor Dura Jr. for the contributions you are making to the community and how you represent USC Upstate. You are a group of educators, innovators, entrepreneurs, civic leaders, and mentors, and the work you are doing enhances the quality of life in the Upstate region of South Carolina and beyond. We are so grateful to have you part of the Spartan family. In the past, we would invite our award winners to the homecoming festivities where they would be honored and recognized in person. This year, we'll prepare video presentations on each recipient to give our Upstate family a glimpse of their accomplishments. Let's go ahead and get started. The first award is a Young Alumni Award. This award is designed to recognize a USC Upstate graduate 40 years of age or younger who represents future leadership. The standards for recognition include one or more of the following, demonstrated leadership capability, commitment to service of others, and a substantial commitment to USC Upstate and its mission. The first recipient of the Young Alumni Award is Laney Whitaker. Laney graduated in 2014 with a degree in art studio and is a proud owner and president of Arrowhead Design Company, rooted right here in Spartanburg. Laney has pioneered thoughtful and innovative solutions that have earned her such accolades, such as Small Business of the Quarter in 2016 and Small Business of the Year in 2020 from One Spartanburg, Inc. Her efforts have led Arrowhead Design to be ranked among the top 100 agencies in the USA, fifth in the state of South Carolina and number one in Sparkle City by Clutch.com. The former president of Club Art and Design and the first student art director of the studio agency on campus, Laney won Portfolio of the Year for her senior class in 2014. The versatile Miss Whitaker still manages to find time to give back to the community she loves so much by serving as a board member for Spartanburg Soup Kitchen and treasurer for Spartanburg Young Professionals. Enjoy learning more about Laney Whitaker. I would say Laney was definitely my most memorable student at Upstate. The ambition, and the drive, that stands out to me, and that's what stood out to me with Laney. She was enterprising and ambitious of her own accord right from the start. Graphic design's a, a professional discipline, and you have to be very professional, and you have to be very precise, and you have to get things right. That educational experience, that discipline, and that desire to do things well made me really proud of Laney as she went into the professional world. I think Laney could be successful wherever she goes. And she chose to come back here to Spartanburg and she chose to open a small business and to hire people and to serve the community with her skills. Always willing to engage with other people, always interested in what other people are doing. And I think that's where a spirit of service comes from. You have to be hardworking and you want to accomplish things, but then you have to want to accomplish things for other people. And that makes me very proud of her, but that was something that's always been a part of Laney. Lainey Whitaker, 2014, Art Studio and Graphic Design. The Art Studio was different than the rest of campus very easily. It had a community sense about it. We were all creatives in a very small space. It was a lot of cinder block walls with not much around you, but that was on purpose. I think that actually created a creative space and you felt like a designer right off the bat. 
I actually didn't start out as a graphic design major. I was a meteorology major. I wanted to be the person in front of the green screen pointing at the weather. Shifting gears for me, um, leaving meteorology and coming to graphic design, I met with a professor. She told me that you, know, you have to be good at this or you're not going to make it. I took that as a challenge and I wanted to be good at graphic design so that I didn't go through school and get this degree and then it was nothing. You can just do all of it and go through the motions. If you don't care about that project or in the business world, that client, you're, it's not going to take you anywhere. There's several things that designers can do when they graduate. They can freelance, they can work as an in-house graphic designer, or they can work at an agency. And so I chose the in-house route where there was a startup in New Jersey. When I went there, it was totally different than doing projects at Upstate. When you're an in-house designer, you're doing uh, work for the same company every single day, so you're really having to hone in on their brand and pay attention to those guidelines. So it was a different aspect of design for me. I came back home because Spartanburg needed graphic design. Arrowhead Design Company focuses on the niche small business. Helping those small businesses has been a huge thing, and I started the company five years ago. Over those five years, I've really seen us grow, the community grow, not just the agency side of things. We did want to bring that community and everything into the company. It's a team of six, and uh, four of us are all uh, USC Upstate alumni. It's pretty neat because uh, where I came from, I'm still pulling from that and uh, trying to capitalize off of what Upstate has to offer for the graphic design students. I wanted to make an impact here because not only because they needed it, but because that's that's just fun for me to come back to my to my hometown and see the difference that that I could make here. I'd like to thank my USC Upstate family, my professors that helped me along the way, the city of Spartanburg and One Spartanburg Inc. for helping my business grow after I graduated, and my family and friends who helped me personally along the way. Our next recipient of the Young Alumni Award is Victor Dura Jr. Vic is the co-founder of a nonprofit organization, Brothers Restoring Urban Hope Inc., or Bra Mentor. He has dedicated his career to building and serving others. While developing his organization as a student at USC Upstate, Victor provided a foundation to enhance community development for the Upstate's youth. Among his many service activities, Mr. Dura serves as community service chairman for the Gaffney Alumni Chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity, board of directors for Habitat for Humanity of the Upstate, and youth advisor for AIM, Athletes in Ministry, at Born and New Church in Spartanburg, just to name a few. The Cowpens native is also involved with the Rotary Club and the Spartanburg chapter of the NAACP. This rising star has been recognized with the Black History Maker Award by 107.3 Jams, a top talent in 10th by the Urban League of Spartanburg and the coveted Mary L. Thomas Award. Mr. Dura obtained his Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies with a nonprofit management concentration in 2008. He also holds an associate degree from Spartanburg Methodist College and is currently pursuing his master's degree in nonprofit leadership at Clemson University. Everyone, Mr. Vic Dura. Community is a part of Victor's identity. Diversity, equity, and inclusion is a part of his fabric, and so that is reflected in the work. Um, and I think that that started long before he ever arrived here at USC Upstate. I was working in student affairs at the time as the assistant director of student life, and Victor was student life. His impact on student government, the programs that went on on campus, you could feel his fingerprints on those, uh, whether it was a concert or a comedian. Excellence uh, was all over the place when it came to how business was being handled. So it's not surprising to me to see him running a nonprofit in excellence today. Bra Mentor is just an expression of what is innate in uh, Victor Dura Jr. Uh, I think he sees himself in probably every one of those young men that uh, comes through the door and uh, becomes a part of that program. The impact of his leadership will be felt for a number of years to come, notwithstanding every single student that comes through Bra Mentor will in their own way impact this community and those would be seeds of Victor's leadership. The greater Spartanburg community, this region even, is impacted by the leadership of a Victor Dura Jr. My name is Victor Dora Jr. and I graduated in spring of 2008 with a degree in interdisciplinary studies with a concentration in nonprofit administration and management. The late Dr. Ron Romine asked the class, 
Who wants to work for a nonprofit organization and who is here to start your own nonprofit organization? And I remember two of us, maybe out of 15 or 20, raising our hands and saying that we wanted to start one. And that's where it really started, right there in class. I was able to get my first internship right here at the college building Brothers Restoring Urban Hope. And we did a lot of different community service projects that are still going on to this day. Coming from the uh, Spartanburg Housing Authority where I grew up, I knew how important and valuable it was to have mentors in my life. So I wanted to make sure that I was able to give back to my community and mentor some youth that would have been in some of the same lived experiences that I've had. Getting here to USC Upstate afforded me that opportunity to really get involved in my community. A number of influential leaders right here on campus that really touched my life. Dr. Warren Carson gave us hope as African-American students here. Stacy Mills, a huge advocate of community service. And I think about Hoyt Bynum who gave me my first job those positive role models and folks that were continuously pouring into me, whether it was through the fraternity, whether it's through community service, or whether it was just being a mentor to me has made all the difference. But those were resources that were right here on campus. Uh, people that stepped outside of their jobs um, to just make sure on a personal level um, that we were being poured into. We've been running it for 16 years now. A lot of 17 through 24 year olds don't have that social capital, that mentorship, those role models that are needed. So we fill that gap and it's, it's been a, a beautiful thing. I'd like to say a special thanks to the USC Upstate family and the Alumni Association for this honor. I'd also like to say, I know today is about me, but at the end of the day, I couldn't have done it without USC Upstate. The next award is the Outstanding Alumni Award. This award recognizes an alum's achievements in their career, public service, and volunteerism that bring honor to themselves and the university. This award considers business and professional accomplishments, participation in the community affairs at the local or state levels, or support of the advancement and continued excellence of UC Upstate. This year, we have two alumni that exemplify these criteria: Ms. Shannon Coleman and Dr. Trevor Ivey. Shannon Coleman graduated from UC Upstate in 2009 with a degree in interdisciplinary studies. A growing leader in the field of housing and residential life in higher education, Shannon has made a difference in the lives of thousands of college students at five institutions where she has worked. That also includes her alma mater, where she has held several residential life roles for over three years. For her efforts, Ms. Coleman was awarded the 2020 Humanitarian and Service Awards by the Southeastern Association of Housing of Officers. Now, as a Director of Housing and Residence Life for Johnson & Wales University, Shannon continues to create a transformative learning and residential experience for countless others. Besides her endeavors on campus, Shannon is also the owner of Uniquely Unwrapped Desserts, LLC, a bakery specializing in cakes, cookies, cupcakes, and other delectable treats. Her keen eye for design and taste has won her recognition as Taste of Black Upstate's best sweet and best display by South Carolina Black Pages. A lifelong learner, Ms. Coleman obtained her master's in higher education student affairs from Purdue University and is currently pursuing her doctorate in education, innovation, and leadership from New York University. Let's learn more about Shannon. Shannon has, has always had uh, an affinity for other human beings, the human experience. Uh, she's not afraid to uh, share her own experiences. She stood out in a way that made me know that she was gonna be a leader, and so help me, she started taking on leadership roles almost immediately. She has uh, no reticence at all about enabling others uh, to do their best work. Shannon understands that in order to, to be an effective uh, leader, counselor, uh, teacher, and all of those roles kind of come together when you're working with students, in order to be really effective, you have to be a good listener, and uh, she, she can do that. She'll listen, uh, <laughs> then she'll make up her mind and she'll say what's on her mind. Shannon's been in contact with me at almost every stage of her uh, educational development, and 
I had no doubt in my mind that she could accomplish whatever she set her mind to. Uh, she has the discipline, she has the stick to itness, she has the general interest uh, that will uh, certainly make her and keep her successful. I'm just waiting on the opportunity to call her Dr. Coleman. My name is Shannon Coleman. I am a class of 2009. I graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies with concentrations in English and Education. Upstate is home, and when you are 18 years old, and you leave home, and you know nobody, and you are able to find someone on campus who looks like you, and who immediately sees the value in you, it is something that you treasure. Being a part of Gospel Choir really, for me, laid the foundation. For me, Wednesday Gospel Choir was church. You would be amazed how one Wednesday night could change your whole week. My relationship with God strengthened. I loved what I did here at Upstate. I loved what I accomplished. I loved being involved. And so it was really difficult for me to let go of a lot of my organizations. And I had to come to a realization that I had to empower others. And that's really translated in my career in higher education. My one goal is to empower students. And I always tell students, I'm not here to advocate for you, but what I will do is advocate with you. I have a former RA from when I worked here at USC Upstate who's an educator in Greer and is successful. And I've watched from when I first hired her and I was like, she's not gonna make it to being named RA of the year. Um, and having that distinction and growing and developing. And now, you know, she hates to say it. I'm like, but we're friends. There's no place like Upstate. Upstate is home. Every time I come into Spartanburg, there is a sense of joy. I had an opportunity to take a job in Texas, but my heart said, come back to Upstate. My best friends, we all went to school here. I joined my sorority here. Um, so I've developed a family that no one honestly can take away from me at this point because I know Upstate will always be home. My why is my family. There is nothing more important. My family matters most, and I'm always striving to make them proud. If I can do that and I can make my family proud, there, there's nothing that I can't accomplish. They're right there with me with everything that I choose to do, and I think that's a support that is unmatched. So I just want to say thank you to University of South Carolina Upstate, my home, every faculty and staff member that supported me throughout my time here. I for sure want to say thank you to the Alumni Association and the Awards Committee for this award. And I definitely want to say thank you to my family for all of their support throughout the years. And I definitely want to thank Dr. Carson for coming in to Upstate today to help me celebrate this award. Our next award recipient is Dr. Trevor Ivey. With over 10 years experience in the public school system as a teacher, assistant principal, and principal, Trevor continues the charge for more vital education opportunities in his native Sumter County. A true champion for children, Dr. Ivy is the founding administrator of the county's first public charter school, Liberty Steam Charter. The youngest principal on record in Sumter, he is also a national board certified teacher, a distinction obtained by only 2% of the teaching profession. His purpose, passion, and perseverance can be seen in his involvement with the South Carolina School Improvement Council Board of Trustees and the Central Carolina Technical College Foundation Board of Trustees. Dr. Ivy has also contributed to several educational journeys. The Sumter County Teacher of the Year in 2013, Trevor was a finalist for South Carolina's Teacher of the Year in 2014. He has also served USC Upstate as an adjunct professor here at the School of Education. Dr. Ivy obtained his master's in educational policy and management from Harvard University and completed his doctoral studies with a degree in educational leadership and administration from South Carolina State University. Let's learn more about Dr. Trevor Ivy. As a student, Trevor was a leader in our program in uh, Sumter. He came in knowing I've got to make a difference because someone gave me a chance and made a difference. That was from the beginning. There was always a plan. When it was time for advisement, he had the plan. 
and he comes prepared to tell you, this is what I'm gonna do. This is why I'm gonna do it, and this is how I'm going to do it. He wants to do what best serves the community, and you have to know the Sumter community and the population that you serve when you're in a public school. We talked a lot about diversity. We talked about being prepared to work with children and families from diverse backgrounds. That was a very important part of the program. It makes me feel really proud to see that that is a part of his mission still as an administrator. He's gone beyond himself to learn more about how he can better serve all of the people in his community. My name is Trevor Ivey, and I graduated from the University of South Carolina Upstate in 2006 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in elementary education. I will be forever indebted uh, to the University of South Carolina Upstate for providing the opportunity for me not to leave Sumter and to obtain a four-year degree in elementary education. If it weren't for folks who believed in me and made sure that I walked away from that program understanding what it clearly means to be a reflective practitioner. Dr. Izzard taught me to be a fighter uh, and a true social justice warrior, believing that when we say all in education, all means all. She taught me that all children can learn. They can learn at the highest levels possible, regardless of their socioeconomic status, their background, their neighborhood, or their ethnicity. She taught me that it's important to roll up your sleeves every day with a whatever it takes attitude, to take it one day at a time, to make sure that the children you are so fortunate to work with have the necessary tools, that knowledge, those skills, and those characteristics to be a productive citizen of society, despite all the odds against them. My why all boils down to wanting to do better for children in my hometown community, changing outcomes for those who have been historically overlooked, and to frankly change the narrative about what is actually possible for children when potential meets opportunity. It's every educator's dream to actually build their own school from the ground up. I'm just so fortunate that I get the opportunity to actually live that dream um, in engaging in the work of establishing Liberty Steam Charter, Sumter's first tuition-free open enrollment public charter school, this brand new educational environment where children who we refer to as scholars have the highest expectations. They come to school each and every day ready to learn. They're eager, they're thirsty, they're passionate about the learning process. But most importantly, we're creating graduates in this brand new learning environment who at the end of the day graduate with a clear purpose. First of all, I want to take this opportunity to thank first and foremost uh, the University of South Carolina Upstate and the awards committee uh, for really validating my passion, my purpose, and perseverance that guides my everyday work. But I also want to acknowledge several mentors who I met along the way in my time at USC Upstate, individuals like Dr. Marilyn Izzard, Dr. Valerie Duart, Dr. Steve Tips, uh, and Dr. Charles Love. Those are the individuals when I refer to as mighty shoulders that I've been able to lean on and learn from that really have shaped uh, my professional experiences today. I certainly would not be who I am today. And when I say that, I wouldn't be able to have positively impacted so many children and families that I've been able to serve in my role as a classroom teacher, as a building principal, or as a school founder. The next award is our Distinguished Alumni Award. This award is presented to alumni who have reached the pinnacle of their career and made exceptional contributions through distinction in their chosen field, exceptional service in local, state, and national and international affairs, or extraordinary service in support of continued excellence at USC Upstate. At USC Upstate First, Kim Mo Crone and Stuart Stamber, both 2008 graduates, are joint recipients of this prestigious award. Former USC Upstate men's soccer student athletes, Kim and Stewart are co-founders of College Scholarship USA. This organization was founded while they were still students here at Upstate. And since then, the two have helped more than 2,300 students study and compete in elite sports at American universities. With a business model developed here at the George Dean Johnson Jr. College of Business and Economics, CSUSA is a market leader with offices in Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and the UK. The ball doesn't stop rolling there. With this foundation, Stuart and Kim have created a comprehensive service to aid the transition from college to professional athletics. These include Pursue Pro, 
a professional sports agency that helps high-level student athletes pursue sporting careers. Pursue Education, which offers consulting services for international student recruitment for American colleges and universities. And Pursue Career, which assists graduating students with their careers and beyond. After growing their staff in 2020, they helped more than 350 student athletes achieve their goal and obtain a college education. Stuart and Kim are also founding members of International Alliance, the collaborative organization that sets standards for international student athlete recruitment. Mr. Stambra currently serves as chairman of the group, which sends more than a thousand student athletes to universities each year. They knocked on my door one day and introduced themselves and said that they had several friends that were in my class and they asked me if I would talk to them a minute. This started a process of them sending me messages, can we come by, when's a good time? They put this business plan right here together. What they say is exactly what they did. It says, College Scholarships USA will be a market leader in recruiting and placing talented student athletes in U.S. colleges and universities. I think it's 13 years later now, and that's exactly what they've done. Among many good qualities they have, they didn't expect me to do it all. They were looking for guidance. The biggest product of this is really how much they helped me. Working with them and a few others helped me develop the minor in entrepreneurship, knowing what somebody who didn't have the business education, what tools they needed. I've used that in a lot of our curriculum design since they left. Coming to USA Upstate for the first time from Europe and from Norway, where I'm from, it's very different. The amazing thing is that immediately you have like a new family away from home. I was put together with Stu as my roommate. We hit off a great friendship from, from day one. So coming to USA Upstate, it's such an incredible thing for me because it set me up for the rest of my life and career. I look back on my time at Upstate with such fond memories. The soccer was amazing, incredible facilities. I got a great education, but you know, more than that, it was the people I met. And that's what's lasted and impacted me. We wouldn't be here without the infrastructure of the university, in particular Jeff Smith, who you know, for me, was a catalyst to even start this. Jeff Smith was a great resource for us. Uh, Stu and I, we were not business majors. We just had this idea that, hey, we wanted to help others do what we did as international students. Jeff liked the idea that we had. He read the business plan and then gave us an incubation. To have a mentor like him to feel the backing of someone that is so business savvy and the help that we got, invaluable. For him to show belief in us and faith at the conception of this idea, we may have never started without him giving us the, you know, the strength, support and belief. We started College Scholarships you say, while we were still at USC Upstate and we were in an environment with so many international students. We wanted to make sure that more people got the chance to do it. What we do now is born out of our amazing experience at Upstate. We had the time of our lives, and our whole mission now is to help other people do the same. We were just inspired being in that environment. You were allowed to be successful. You, you were pushed to, to be the best you can be. And that is what we're helping our students now. I've met so many amazing people uh, during my time in, in South Carolina. Friends for life friends from all over the world, meeting my wife. We have two amazing kids who hopefully will, will come to the States and, and do their journey. If it wasn't for USA Upstate, this wouldn't have been possible. So that, that is something I, I cherish. There's so many people to thank our parents. First Kim's in Norway, mine in the UK. Anyone who started a business knows those formative years. It's so important um, to have that support network. And we had that, um, as well as our friends, teammates, and everybody believing us. I mean, we had our mentor, Terry Green, in the UK, who was critical. This, uh, he, he offered so much great advice and guidance um, to, to help us stay on the right path uh, and be able to get where we are today. And my girlfriend is a constant source of inspiration and support. 
that helped me uh, through navigating through all this. Our staff, uh, past and present, who have just been incredible, who bought into the values. So I'm so grateful to, to everybody uh, who, who's been part of this. Um, and we share this award with them. I want to thank the awards committee the Alumni Association and, and USC Upstate as a whole. It's been a lot of hard work to get to where we are now and we're, we're just getting started, we feel, on, on the things we want to do. But it wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for the education, the experiences and, and the backing that we got from our times at the USC Upstate. Our last awardee for the 2021 USC Upstate Awards is well known in the Spartanburg community. Loretta Dilgiri has dedicated herself to improving the lives of young people in all her endeavors. One of her most extraordinary callings has been with the South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind, where she has served for over 26 years, holding many titles throughout her tenure. In this space, Loretta has become a key advocate for nurturing instruction, guided leadership, and establishing a welcoming environment for all students and families who call SCSDB home. Ms. Dilgiri has served tirelessly on the Charles Lee Foundation Board, the fundraising arms for the Charles Lee Center, a nonprofit that provides homes, employment, and service to 1,600 children and adults who have intellectual disabilities and chronic medical conditions. She is also a board member of several organizations, including Halter, a therapeutic horse riding program in Spartanburg, the Cancer Association of Spartanburg and Cherokee Counties, Mobile Meals, Boys and Girls Club, Hatcher Garden, and the Sertoma Club. A passionate advocate for children, Loretta has made our community and our state a much warmer place. A graduate in special education, visual impairment, Loretta holds USC Upstate's ideals to the highest degree. I'm honored to share more about Loretta. Loretta was actually in the first graduating class for the visual impairment education program. Loretta was just a star in the class. When you think of like a servant leader, um, Loretta is like the embodiment of that. In the community and fundraising events, I just saw how hard she worked for those children with disabilities, but also others who were in need. Whether it is raising money, whether it is introducing families to the school for the deaf and blind, for so many years, Loretta did it with just such grace and you could just tell what a good person she was and how much that she cared for the school for the deaf and blind. Imagine sending your baby to live somewhere and they have disabilities. But Loretta is that person. I think that's why some families really made that decision. A very, I think a very loving, very tough decision. But realizing that they really wanted their child to benefit from the programming, but also knowing that they weren't sending them to an institution they were sending them to a, almost a second home because it would be people just like Loretta. How can somebody come to America and in a new language do and accomplish what she's done? What a, what a remarkable example for us, for my children and the children she works with. I am Loretta Dulgeri. I am a graduate of Special Education Visual Impairment. My story is a success story of somebody coming from a communist country. I was a principal in a school for handicapped children in my home country, Albania. I came here for experience to see some of the special education program and I stayed. I came to School for Deaf and Blind in 1995. Everybody that comes to visit the campus from the community or parents, uh, they see me when they come and drop a student that is four years old and they look in your eyes and they say, is my child going to be okay? And I'm the person who says, yeah, he'll be fine. USC Upstate, it's very special to me. I did have degrees, but I could not use them in America. It was a shortage of teacher of visual impairment in the country. To meet that need, they said, we have to prepare those teachers. USC Upstate gave me confidence that even not speaking very well English, but just working hard and having wonderful professors here that believed on me and guided me, I was able to graduate with 4.0. I got involved in the nonprofit world because of my mentor and family that has adopted me in Spartanburg, the Habisch Toiningers. They gave so much to me, and I wanted to give back. 
I got involved with Charsley Center. Charsley Center serves 1,500 adults with disability. A lot of students who graduate from the school go there when they are adults. Another program was Halter program, provide therapy for children with disabilities to enjoy writing. Another dear organization to my heart is Hatcher Garden. For the first time, we are going to have a children's garden and important information at Hatcher Garden, they are in Braille. It's very important for our children and people with disability to have access to the garden. My motto in life for so long has been be kind, do good. It took me 20 years to become an American citizen, but the day that I became the American citizen was the happiest day of my life. If it wasn't for this university, I will not be here where I am today. The day that I graduated, it meant so much to me because it showed that I can make it. I feel very honored and privileged to be chosen for the Alumni Distinguished Award. To Dr. Sheila Bradweiser, thank you for being my mentor. Thank you for guiding me through all this time. And thank you for supporting and encouraging me. To Dr. Charles Love, thank you for admitting me to the program. Even my paperwork was not in English enough. I really, really appreciated that. To Dr. Tina Herzberg, thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for all you do for Vision Program in the state of South Carolina at the USC Upstate. To Dr. Laura Hooks, thank you for adopting me, for be making me part of your family. Thank you for always being there for me and for your support. To Dr. Eric Dresgo, I will not be here today if it wasn't for you. Thank you for all you have done through the first time that you met me. To Marina Habistroidinger and Roger Habistroidinger, to both of you, thank you for supporting me. Marina, thank you for teaching me how to be a better giving person and how to be a better person in the community. Thank you for joining us to celebrate this year's Alumni Award winners. The effort of each recipient shows that the Spartan community is robust, growing, and impactful. To the awardees, we thank you for setting a terrific example of the true Spartan spirit and the high value of the University of South Carolina Upstate degree holds. Now, more than ever before, the university is grateful for your time, talent, and contributions. While we look forward to coming together in person again, we hope this virtual ceremony has inspired some of the same pride you feel whenever you are with a fellow Spartan. I encourage everyone and invite everyone to stay connected, involved, and engaged with the university. You can follow us on social media at USC Upstate Alumni and on our webpage at uscupstate.edu forward slash alumni. On behalf of the Alumni Association, be safe, be well, go Spartans.